I'm Sarah Hartel. And I'm Ben Hanlin and today is the National Enterprise Challenge Finals Day. Today is the day we've all been waiting for as later on we'll find out who the winners are of this national competition that focuses on the next generation of entrepreneurial minds. One skill I think you need is self-belief. You, you genuinely need to, to be able to pick yourself up on a bad day and keep going and believe that eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Um, but obviously that needs to be balanced with common sense and, and logic. You can't just kind of believe in, in making chocolate teapots or something because they, they might not catch on. Uh, so it's self-belief and motivation. You have to be able to get up every day because no one's going to wake you up out of bed every morning. Your mom's not going to be there with a cup of tea. You have to get up every morning and just keep going and going and going. So if you've got self-belief and motivation, then you're, you're on your way. As early as 11, kids should be exposed to enterprise and to entrepreneurism and then be able to study it in more detail because it's about the studying of, of, of entrepreneurism that we will be better and more successful. And you know what? You don't have to have a big brain to be an entrepreneur. You've got to have loads of common sense. So some people who are not academically brilliant could really excel in those subjects if they were at school. But the point we've got to remember that 50% of all small businesses collapse, go bust in the first two years. And when people ask me, you know, when they see Dragon's Den, they say, where does the BBC find all those people, stupid people that come on and they don't know their numbers, don't know anything. I'm saying welcome to the great British public of business because people start businesses without the education. Now if we could educate people at a really early age about business and get them as motivated and enthused as you all are, then maybe that 50% failure rate could go down quite significantly and that would make a massive difference to UK's GDP. So it makes sense all round and as Delboy would say, you know it makes sense. It's great to be involved with uh, all the children um, in terms of letting them see something inspiring. Uh, for us, you know, growing up, it's always hard to try and find people to kind of look up to. Um, and I think uh, myself and brother have obviously been on a, you know, on a, on a huge journey, um, overcoming adversity. Um, and now, you know, for young children to see that, you know, when tough things kind of happen and negative things happen, whether it's at home or just in life in general. Um, just to keep battling away so uh, for us to showcase that to all the kids today is, um, is huge. Um, I think anyone that you know wants to uh, progress and, um, and get some you know get somewhere with something uh, you've got to have passion for what you do um, and you've got to believe in what you do um, and I think uh, importantly is surround yourself with good people um, just people that will be positive and when you have a bad day can pick you up and say no keep going um, and if you've got that around you you'll find that you'll keep getting closer and closer to whatever your ambition may be. This is the key stage three Ryman's challenge and the winner is Grafoto the Priory School. So the winner for key stage four for the Gandhi's challenge was Chesham Grammar, not as it seems. Massive congratulations to you all. I think you've done superb in it. For me personally, and I know I'm speaking on behalf of myself, uh, ben and Mike as directors and also all of our team at Youth Enterprise, including staff shooting ambassadors, that we have had an absolute ball running this challenge for you. Have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed it?